how to make the perfect corned beef stew hi i'm chef evelyn ijama urging you to take a break from your regular tomato stew and try out this recipe that everyone is going to love these are the vegetables i'll be using for this recipe and they'll be introduced to you one by one in the course of the video happy viewing guys how old were you when you realized you can use the key to open this can without going through a lot of stress and wahala well i was this day old so i've been suffering for a long time i transferred that into a plate and it's time to start cooking add some oil to a pan i'm using vegetable oil you can use any cooking oil of your choice let that heat up and go in with some onion fry for about a minute and go in with some ginger and garlic i'm using fresh ones you can use the powdered ones if that is what you have fry that till it becomes translucent go in with thinly diced cilantro stock for flavor now add the canned tomato puree if you have the fresh tomatoes you can use that as well Fry that for about a minute before going in with your tomato paste. Fry for about 6 minutes. Make sure your eyes are on it so it doesn't burn. Keep stirring from time to time. After 6 minutes, go in with your pepper mix which should be a combination of habanero pepper and some onion fry for an additional three minutes to get rid of any sour taste from the peppers or tomatoes go in with some salt thyme rosemary curry powder i'm using the gino brand stir nicely and add the corned beef because the corned beef usually has its own oil, I like to fry that for about one minute in the sauce, which is a good way to build up more flavor and ensure that everything is well incorporated. Add some thinly diced Irish potatoes. Give that a good stir. I'll be adding my water in two batches. The first batch is to loosen things up and break the beef chunks with the help of a spatula while the next will be water enough to cook the sauce season with oregano paprika powder benny chicken seasoning powder some carrots stir cover and simmer for three minutes after three minutes it's time to go in with the veggies first some carrots for extra crunch onion green peas red bell pepper runner beans yellow bell pepper green bell pepper spring onion and some cilantro and parsley leaves stir to combine and then go in with some sesame oil for flavor this is totally optional then simmer for one minute i hope you know that corned beef stew is not bolognese the aroma from the sauce is amazing the look is great and the taste awesome please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you will you be trying out this recipe i paired mine with some white rice and it was absolutely delicious thank you for watching see you in my next bye